Welcome back. So we have just learned how we can extract all this information like year, quarter, month and day from the date from our data. Now even though our basic our SQL information is quite basic at this moment but you can still do wonders. Let us do a quick case study to see with very little information with very little SQL that we have learned how we can still find the data from our database in an amazing way so let me run a new query here so that our previous session is saved and let us see let me first explain you what we are trying to do we are only looking at the sales we only want to look at the sales and we only want to look at the sales for the week number 51 for each year in our data why because week number 51 is the one in which usually there is black friday sales and for most businesses this is the highest sales of the year in a week but to make it a meaningful analysis we got to analyze that in the week number 51 of 2020 how much we made the sales in comparison to week number 51 of 2019 and in comparison to week number 51 of 2018 I hope you are getting my point right so first of all let us select everything from GL because right now this is you know this is the starting point the most fundamental query and now after this let us make sure that we are not just looking everything in our GL we are only looking at sales well as I told you we are at the beginning of our SQL journey but still we can find the information using a little less efficient approach but we can so now let us talk about which account has the sales well we can go to our data file that we uploaded but rather than going to the excel let us do it within the sql so let us open a new query and let us see our chart of accounts select a star from chart of accounts so that you have this table and now you can see which ledger is recording your sales and here you can see the account number 210 is the one in which sales is being recorded so let us use 210 let me go back to my query so it's select a star from GL where account key is equal to 210 and press F5 and okay let me see what is happening select a star from GL this is where I have to write where select the star from GL where account key equals 210 and now you can see the data that you are seeing here is only for account key 210 which is which means that we are talking about sales only now we are supposed to look for one specific week only and how do we do that well we can apply the date part condition but before that let us apply the and here because you know there is already a condition going on so i would say and and now i would say date part and in that date part i would say please bring me the week number and in that week number uh, please do that from the date column that i'm giving you here let us close it and now let us see what is happening this formula will extract the week number from the date and then I want that whatever is extracted please then filter down to give me the week number 51 only and press F5 now and you can see that if you look at your data for 2018 the month is 12 here and the dates are 21, 20 it is reasonably telling you that we are right now in week number 51 so 21 and then we have 13 and then we have 21 and that is actually reasonable so for 2019 you have the same information from the week number 51 only and for 2020 you have the same information from week number 21 only of course we do not have a total amount available at this moment we don't know how to make a to make it total but even if you know this much basic sql now you can take this table to your excel and you can filter down to your data but don't worry we will learn to make the totals and sum and aggregate in SQL as well. But you can see that even with this basic SQL, how important this is going to be, how much helpful this is going to be in our financial data analysis.